September 21st, 2020, Monday, Piotr here, the slide for a global YouTube channel. Good afternoon from Europe, good morning, good evening, guys, whatever we are. Guys, huge risk of sentiment. Well, uh, many different reasons, starting with the COVID cases, especially rapidly growing in Europe, with the uh, huge uh, scandal related to the money laundering uh, with the big banks involved in the case. But anyway, before we start with the charts, risk warning as usual. Guys, please bear in mind, trading on margin carries a high level of risk, may not be suitable for investors who can sustain loss of some more initial investments, so please do not invest the money you cannot afford to lose. Seek education, gain experience before risking real money. However, past performance doesn't guarantee future results. Okay, so what is going on? We are breaking, we are breaking, we trying to break below Friday low, we trying to break again below this low of that consolidation. We tried Friday, but there was a positive daily close right inside. Today, weekly open and one way ticket to the downside, as I mentioned. Uh, many different reasons, um, money laundering scandal, COVID cases, uh, overall, overall weaker, weaker sentiment with the uh, visible uh, slowing down, down of the worldwide uh, economy and uh, well, continuation to the downside, well, we will see, uh, let's place a few more, uh, let's place a few more uh, lines, oh sorry, let's place a few more lines uh, horizontal lines uh, to the downside when it comes to the daily chart because we are approaching some more important levels right we'll see that's few of them um, and uh, because the US cash market is open let's have a look what we have when it comes to the first five minute trading range uh, because there is a huge gap to the downside, uh, I would expect uh, attempt at least attempt uh, uh, to closing the to closing the gap. Uh, but we will we will see. We will try to build the plan. Uh, if you do remember, if you do watch uh, when it comes to the uh, currencies, there was a yesterday update as uh, as well. Okay, so that's that's what we have. Now, uh, let's have a look where was the close when it comes to the uh, Friday. All right, and we are talking about these levels over uh, over here. So overall, uh, we were around the uh, Tokyo Open. We were bouncing here and there when it comes to the uh, weekly open. Uh, then after the break uh, through the Tokyo low, we just retest the weekly open uh, related to the also Friday close and since then we are moving lower. So, well, I do expect, I do expect that we have some liquidity pool stops uh, above that level, right? And to be honest with you, I'm not gonna be surprised, not at all, if we are going to see that market going that high. So next uh, 100 or so uh, points uh, to clean that uh, that stops or even uh, finish uh, into the in, into the green, right? Just for now. Just for now. Okay, that's this. Uh, let's. Think about the first five minute trading range uh, just to see one to one to the first five minute trading range how big it should be. Uh, it should be wider. So, probably we are going to expand that range. It should be probably something like this, Small, a little bit smaller. And that's what we are going. Uh, well, I think that's what we are going to get. Yeah. So then uh, this type of the range, uh, uh, if we are going to get, then I do expect market will go higher. What I would like to see uh, eventually, uh, not, not sure if we are going to clean more to the downside, 
but then I think related to this level with the rejection, right? Of course, if we are going to get this size of the range, that should be more than 50. Yeah, 86. So above 50, above half percent. Uh, so that would be something, uh, that is something I'm looking for uh, when it comes to this first five minute trading range. Uh, as of now, 68, quite nice. Uh, and that would be my selling uh, opportunity, right? That would be my uh, selling uh, selling rally. Well, the thing is, the thing is uh, that it's uh, it's not uh, it's not certain that we are going to go into into that level. Uh, so another thing is depends on where we are going to uh, finish the first five minutes trading range, uh, how we are going to behave above uh, the high of the first five minute trading range. It could be that we are going to clean some highs. When it comes to this latest pre-market consolidation and then we might see some kind of the rejection and continuation to the downside right uh, so that's what i'm going to that's what i'm going to focus uh, especially that we didn't expand the range as you can see the first five minutes gone and we didn't expand the range so well we'll see what's going to what's going to happen anyway uh, sentiment is negative but guys don't forget uh u.s election uh is coming right uh, the time time is flying uh, so i'm not gonna be surprised to see uh, that uh, nunchin or kudlow are gonna be out uh, sent by the trump uh, white house dogs <laughs> uh, to try to rescue the market right uh, i'm not gonna be surprised at all uh, if you do remember the uh, the sunday update if you do remember sub sunday update uh, we were talking about the very busy calendar especially starts from wednesday uh, macro calendar but uh, also guys it's uh, worth to mention uh, it's worth to mention uh, the political calendar uh, basically based on uh, what we uh, what we discuss when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the, the US election, uh, 29th of the September, so uh, within the next uh, eight days, uh, next Tuesday, first presidential deba debate, then 7 October, uh, vice presidential de debate, then 15th of October, second presidential debate, 22nd of October, third presidential debate, 3rd of November, election day. So 29th of September, 7 October, 15th, so every week um, till the election is going to be the uh, busy one, right? Uh, okay, so looks like uh, market do prefer south side. Uh, so let's have a look what we have when it comes to the yen crosses. Um, dollar yen trying to hold this 104 level we discussed quite a few times. What is 104 level? We have to switch to the daily chart and 104 level ish is this low over here right uh, and we're trying to hold that as long as we hold the other end crosses uh, may fall so the victims might be other dollar crosses right uh, but if we are going to see final break to the downside through 104 on the dollar yen all right that could be double kick uh, for the yen crosses now it might not happen today tomorrow because uh, today we had during the, the tokyo session we had the bank holiday in japan and tomorrow is a bank holiday of the japan so that the you know this final move could be delayed uh, but if the sentiment negative sentiment prevail i do expect that we are going to see break uh, through these levels and uh, other yen process uh, will follow uh, my uh, my tip for today, what is on my radar, is a Australian dollar versus Japanese yen, all right? And what I'm gonna to what I'm gonna to look for there are uh, two uh, two levels I'm going to look for based on the daily chart. And if you are going to see uh, somehow that the market is trying uh, to retest uh, these levels, uh, I might try to. Them. The first one is actually the whole zone. 
Uh, the first one is the whole zone. What I mean by that? The first one is the zone between the weekly open blue dashed line and uh, Friday low, right? And the second one, I'm sorry, is uh, this swing low breakdown, right? Is this swing low breakdown, okay? Uh, so we are talking about the zone between 70, 590, 576 towards 76.20. And the second one is 76.50. So the whole zone, 76, 76.50, uh, it looks like it might be uh, the level, the zone uh, where the um, where we, we might expect some uh, bearish activity, especially taking into the consideration to what we've seen before that break to the upside happened. Right now we are going back below and then from, from the bull's perspective, that doesn't look good. So I'm looking to fade the right towards 76, 76, 50. Depends on the price action, depends on the what is going on on the, uh, on the market. And the second one uh, I'm going to watch here is uh, pound yen. Uh, and uh, overall pound weakness, uh, it's not only Brexit related right now, it's also the COVID related. Uh, so the dark clouds uh, coming uh, when it comes uh, to the uh, to the pound and uh, the pound yen uh, that's today's uh, weekly um, weekly open over here and finally we are trying to break down from this uh, very tiny consolidation been thinking that we might see stop count above 3670 uh, it didn't materialize and we going straight to the downside so what might be uh, the approach well the first target is around 132.50 in that case we have to put the line at 132.50 somewhere here right so it's uh, like half of this old consolidation uh, over here okay um, and uh, what's what's the point uh, where i'm looking to sell unfortunately for now i see only the levels related to the uh, to the weekly open so in case of anything of the manipulation related to the either uh, option expiration um, London fix uh, or any kind of the vaccine risk on Riley right um, it's 130, uh, 135 levels uh, zone uh, around 135 it's what I'm looking when it comes to the selling opportunity don't forget guys we have we have Powell uh, plenty of time this week. First time today within next few within next few minutes when it comes to the macro, nothing extraordinary. So overall, guys, risk uh, of sentiment looking to looking to uh, sell the indices. But again, be careful, be prepared that uh, we might see U.S. indices trying to close the gap. Then uh, yen crosses as as discussed. With that being said, I wish you great uh, New York cash session new york uh, trading session and don't be trapped uh, work uh, properly with your exposure and see you around take care and goodbye